Welcome back YouTube to the channel. Chris, the Camping Texan here, and it's the weekend of November the 7th and 8th. And we are at Choke Canyon State Park in Three Rivers, Texas. So that's where the GeoPro is this weekend. Um, we're in site 135, and I wanna share the, uh, the good and the bad of this site with you. Um, so, this is a very quiet camping loop here at Choke Canyon State Park. Um, they really only have one RV loop and then they have a tent loop. Um, so it, it's, it's nice and quiet. Uh, one of the things that we really liked about 135 is that uh, it faces the water and there, there's a lot of wildlife. Um, if you're sitting in your campsite, you can see a lot of deer, uh, a lot of hogs, wild turkey. In fact, there's uh, there's one of the hogs now, or a couple of them. So you have uh, wildlife just roaming around your campsite. Um, and then of course, there's the water, there's the lake. You can walk down to the lake and fish. And the view is just amazing. It's, it is beautiful here at Choke Canyon. Now, the site that we're in, 135, it doesn't have any trees. So that's it's kind of a drawback. Um, we got this site mainly because we're going into San Antonio for the weekend and we needed a place to stay so we we really weren't here that much and it's in november so we were able to use the awning and keep some shade that way and the cool temperatures it really hasn't been a big deal so but you can see the wild animals they they do tear up the ground a little bit so you don't want to leave anything out um, while you're camping at 135. It's an easy spot to get into. Um, no big deal. It's nice and level. Didn't take any effort. We had the, the GeoPro leveled in no time. Um, you do get a fire pit with a fire ring. The, uh, a couple of downsides to the site is the sticker burrs uh, in the grass. They do attach to your shoes. And so you'll drag those into your camper. Uh, we keep a broom to sweep off uh, the sticker burrs that, that get on to our outdoor rug. And, and then you have to pick them off of your shoes. So that, that's a little bit of a negative. So the tree, no tree, and then the sticker burrs. Um, the picnic table area, we weren't able to use that because it was, uh, there was a nest of yellow jackets in there, but, um, if it was treated, then it would be a perfect place to, to have your, your lunch or your supper or breakfast, what have you. So we'll go to the other side and I'll show you just some of the damage that the wildlife did to the site. And then after that, I'll, we found a couple of better sites that, that we think we'll try next time. And, and you should probably try them as well if, if you're, going to be here and you're going to spend all your time here unlike we did where we had to go into san antonio and we we really only had one day to kind of enjoy the park so this is some of the damage that when we when we pulled up the hogs or what have you had had messed up the ground but um this is not a full hookup site you get your electricity uh 30 50 20 and your water and then the dump station, which is really nice, is just down the road about a half a mile. And um, they do have a, a double uh, sewer uh, connection so that you can get more than one camper through there at a time to, to dump your waste. Uh, but definitely don't pass up on 135. It, it's got a great view and we the wildlife have just they come right up to the back of the camper and it's really fun to watch um just be prepared if you come during the summertime 
bring an extra um, portable awning or something that you can create some shade at your campsite but it's not enough to scare to scare you away um i don't know if you can see in the background but there there's a shelter back there and that's part of this campground has a shelter area where they it's like little, little cabins that they rent and they have air conditioning so uh, if you're into that kind of thing they have that here another thing that i liked about the site is the dumpsters right there that might be a negative for some people but um we didn't smell anything while we were here and and it was really convenient to just walk the trash right over there so let me show you this this has got to be the best site here and then i'll show you a couple of more uh, sites that you might be interested in so as you can see the the wildlife they have no fear they just walk right up into the campsites um so if you love deer you love hogs you, you like turkey wild turkey birds i mean they're everywhere everywhere here so this is 133 and i mean in my opinion this is as good as it gets beautiful view of the lake uh, maybe the only downside to this site would be there is a there's a pavilion right next to you so um, when we came in on saturday there was a group gathering that was here all day and there were a lot of people and so it, that would be right next to you but that's the only negative i mean you've got these beautiful trees and lots of shade so 133 And then over here across from our site, and now you can see the deer. This is 134. And this, even though it's on the inside of the loop, which we typically stay away from those, um, this one is offset so that it's got a nice view. So if I turn here, you can see from their site, um, you can still see the lake and it's unobstructed. There's no one across from them. So 133, 134, those are two good sites. And then 136 and 137 are also two good sites. So Choke Canyon is an absolutely amazing park. It's beautiful here. So bring your fishing gear and be prepared to, um, to have a good time here. So I'll, I'll catch you guys this weekend. We'll be at Cedar Hill State Park up at Lake Joe Pool in Arlington. And um, I'll see you at the campsite later, YouTube.